I'll tell you this. I have come to appreciate the fact that a lot of people go to work every day and they actually don't like the work they do. And that must be very difficult. And we, we spend more of waking hours working than almost anything else we do. So I have come to have a great deal of sympathy and empathy for people who have to go to this place called their job every day and they don't enjoy it. Some people can't help it. You know, they, they're, they're locked in situations. But a lot of people just aren't willing to help themselves. And a lot of people can, you know, reorient themselves with, what, with what's important to them. They can change the direction of their lives. And the only thing stopping themselves is themselves. So I, I wish for everybody the kind of sense of power and freedom and money that I've been able to accumulate by being a lifelong learner. And I wish for everybody that they discover that part of themselves. Because I spend time with people like this. I surround myself with people like this. This is my community. Um, and I know that they experience difficult times like everyone else. They are affected you know, emotionally by the same challenges like everybody else. But they always have an easier time picking themselves up because they always know that there's something exciting to be learned from the experience or exciting to be learned just around the corner. And I, I frankly don't even understand a value system that doesn't have learning at the core because it's the best reason to do anything. In fact, in my own company where I have a few young people working for me, um, one of the things we deliver is what we call self-improvement. And the way that we phrase it is, you know, you're paid for your time here in money, but the real value from being here is the ways that you can improve yourself. And nothing, no one can ever take that from you. So I consider the workplace to be the greatest university of all. And um, I feel, as I said, I started out by saying I feel regret and sadness for people who don't view it that way. But I, I don't stop there. I want to help them. I think lifelong learning is important because it, it, it keeps your, your mind and your brain electric. It keeps it young. It keeps it stimulated. It's a muscle and it needs to be worked out. And I think if you get to the age of 75 and you think you have nothing left to learn, I mean, this is, we all know what happens to this person. They die, right? Because they're dying inside and they're dying uh, from the outside world. So um, lifelong learning, literally through the end of your life, till the day you're gone, um, is what keeps you alive and young. I have been on a book tour with this book, and book tours have always been difficult because um, you're in front of a lot of people, you stop at a place and you're in front of a lot of people, and then the event is over and then you're alone in a strange city. And you really have to keep your own counsel, you really have to be your own source of stability because the, you go from hot to cold, hot to cold. Um, what I have learned recently, and I shared this with my wife as recently as last night, because I spoke to a group last night, is um, I'm learning more and more in front of a group how to speak to them as if I'm speaking to one person, and not presenting, but talking. And there has been an absolute change in the response, as I've gotten better at this, uh, from the number of people who, who want to talk to me afterwards. And this makes sense. In the old days, I would speak, and I always got really good compliments on my presentation. It's a lot of good data. But I didn't get so many people coming up to me afterwards who want to continue the conversation. And now that I've turned it into, now that I've gotten more comfortable talking to them, they feel like I'm talking to them. Of course, anyone who is in a conversation, when you're talking to them, they want to talk back. And I mean, I love it. I love it. I love having people come up afterwards. But even last night, you know, in, I was there for an hour after the presentation talking to people. So um, it's a whole new dimension. But it has everything to do with how I've gotten a little better at talking to people and not presenting to people. And I'm loving that, that, I'm loving that process. Hi, I'm Russell Sauter, Chairman and CEO of Netcom Learning. Netcom Learning's purpose is to promote the values of lifelong learning. The moment we think we know it all, we stop growing develop the passion for learning, be a lifelong learner.